Welcome everyone to this demonstration of how to play digital present perfect cover up, including a special dice script that has been written into the Google slide document. Now, when you play this, you are going to want two students sharing the same slide. If I'm student number one, I'm going to start the game by going up and clicking dice, roll dice. And it tells me I rolled a six. So I say, okay and I go to number six on my board and it says skate on an ice skating rink and the player number two is then going to ask me the question have you ever skated on an ice skating rink and I am going to use the present perfect tense to answer the question I have skated on an ice skating rink but I spent more time sitting on the ice than skating on it if my answer uses the present perfect correctly, I'm able to choose an X and pull it over that square showing that I have completed that question. Player two then is able to go up to click dice, roll dice, and player, 10, uh, player two rolled a 10. We click OK, and player one asks, have you ever ridden on a roller coaster? And player two says, no, I have never ridden on a roller coaster. I'm too scared. And covers that square. The play continues in this way. If you happen to roll a number that you have already covered, such as an, if player one were to roll a six, then that turn is forfeited and you just don't get to do anything on that turn. And immediately the other player is able to roll the dice. Play can continue in until one of several situations occurs, whatever you choose. You can require the players to cover their entire board. You can go for connect four where you have all four corners or you have a four in a line. You might ask for a square of four. There are many different possibilities. You just want to make it clear to your students before they start what are the requirements for being a winner. I hope this better helps you to understand how to play digital present perfect cover up.